Hey guys, I'm back, and this video is going to be my March monthly favorites video, and I'm going to show a couple new products that I recently got, so it's going to be kind of like a monthly favorites video and like a makeup haul video. So I have a lot to share with you guys. I didn't do one last month because I felt like I didn't really have enough to share with you guys, and I was super busy. I just couldn't get to making a favorites video, but I hope this will make up for it because I have a lot to share with you guys. A lot of really cool stuff that I've been loving lately, so I'm going to just show you everything that I've got going on here, and hopefully you guys will like it too. Alright, so I'm going to start off with some face products because I have some really cool stuff. The first thing I'm going to share with you guys is this primer, and this is from Maybelline. This is the new Master Prime by Face Studio Primer, and this is to blur and illuminate. They do have, I think, three or four others, but this one caught my eye because you guys probably know I do love kind of that dewy glow when it comes to the skin. So um, I got this one. I really like it because it gives more of kind of that pink iridescent it comes off pink and I didn't think that would kind of look good but it actually looks amazing and it's just like this pearlescent glow that it gives to the skin and it just makes your foundation stay on really long but it's really the glow that it gives off underneath the foundation that really sold me so I totally love this I showed this in my drugstore favorites video so if you guys want to see more info and what it looks like about this I'll link the haul below but anyway this is a great primer and what's even better is that it's drugstore so it's going to be pretty inexpensive and really easy to find totally love it all right another drugstore product and this is going to be foundation and i totally totally love this foundation i did do a first impressions video on this but i accidentally deleted all of the footage and clips that I had so unfortunately I couldn't share that with you guys but if you want me to do kind of like a foundation routine with um, this foundation which is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation I'm sure you guys have seen it all over the internet um, I've seen a lot of bloggers, Instagrammers, YouTubers um, use this foundation and I was really surprised I like it because I really don't wear like matte foundations. I haven't really since high school. I wore matte foundation in high school because that was really all I knew and that was the first foundation that was introduced to me. But um, I decided to kind of switch it up and try this foundation out. I think foundations you really can wardrobe your foundation so maybe if you want to go for a dewy fresh look then you would do a foundation with um, kind of a glow or a hydrating foundation and if you want something more evening time or really flawless um, finish then you would go more for a matte. So I decided I would branch out and try this matte foundation and it really seriously makes your skin look completely like airbrushed and flawless and it gives an insane amount of coverage so I, for a drugstore, I was super shocked about this um, foundation. I got two different colors. One's a little dark for me and the other one's like perfect right now, but I'm feeling like the dark one will be great for when I get my tan, hopefully soon, um, for the warm weather. And the one that works for me right now is the Natural Beige. This is number 105. If it matches me pretty well. And then the darker one is the Fresh Beige number 107. So if you guys want to try out a really inexpensive full coverage foundation that's going to make you look completely airbrushed, then definitely give that one a try. I absolutely love it. So this concealer is probably the best concealer I have used in years, and I cannot stop using this. It's absolutely amazing. This is the Naked Skin from Urban Decay. This is their Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It's just the best consistency. It's more of a liquid consistency. I use a lot of cream, but I felt like since my skin is dry and I want it to blend out easier, I decided to move for um, or go for more of a liquid consistency. The color I got is medium light. It's a neutral undertone. And what I do, you probably have, if you haven't seen it in my videos already, but I literally just kind of put this concealer in a little triangle underneath my eye area and then I just blend it out. You can put it down your nose, your chin, your forehead. So I kind of use this to highlight too, but it really gives amazing coverage. So what I really like to use with this concealer is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is the long lasting one. Um, I've been looking for kind of a setting spray. I've been kind of an, an ex 
uh, setting spray mousse, so I've been shopping for a lot lately. I've been wanting to try this forever, and I saw that at Sephora they came out with like the travel size, or I just finally noticed that they had a travel size. So I picked this one up, and I love it. I feel like it leaves kind of a seal all over your face, which you don't feel, but it really locks in your makeup and makes it last longer. But what I like to do is spray some of this on my beauty blender and then use my beauty blender with this on it to blend my concealer out and it just makes underneath so creamy and smooth and the combination of these two have really made my concealer last the longest it's ever lasted. I really get a lot of creasing under here and I feel like it fades and my dark circles come out later on the day but I feel like I'm totally covered with the combination of these two, so it's kind of like my new favorite duo for underneath my eyes. All right, so more drugstore products. Um, I have discovered Milani Cosmetics probably kind of in this year, and I love baked products. I just think baked products are amazing. They give like the most gorgeous glow. You can use them wet or dry. So I decided to try out the Milani um, Baked Blush, and there's two colors that I have been using a lot lately. This is number five. This one is called Luminoso. And this one is number six. It's called Bellissimo Bronze. So these two, I love peachy undertones or kind of bronzy tones, especially for spring and summer, just on my cheeks. And I think it looks nice with my skin tone. I'm kind of not a pink wearer when it comes to blush colors, but I really, really like these colors. I'll kind of do an up close of these so you can get a better idea of what they look like. Here is a closer look on the blushes, and as you can see, one is really peachy and the other is kind of like a bronzy color. So anyway, these are great. I totally recommend them, especially if you're looking for an inexpensive, pretty blush for summertime. And Milani Cosmetics is probably one of my favorite drugstore products right now. I'm really loving everything they have, so those blushes are kind of like my go-to blushes right now. So I was sent a couple eyeshadows um, from BoxyCharm, and um, I received four of these Modern Mineral eyeshadows. I have never heard of Modern Minerals before, but um, I definitely wanted to try these out and see what look I can create with these. I did do kind of a pastel look for spring, which I'll link down below. I did a whole tutorial um, using more pastel colors, and I used some of the eyeshadows that I received. From them and I really was happy with this pigmentation of these shadows. Um, mineral shadows and loose shadows shadows are awesome just because you can use them wet or dry. The big pigment oh my gosh I can't talk. The pigmentation is amazing and I don't know you can do so many things with these. You can even use them as highlighters, blushes, eyeshadows. So I was really pleasantly surprised with these um, mineral eyeshadows. The one that I got, um, or the ones that I got, are Willow, which is a really pretty green. This is Cherish. I used this in the video. It's amazing. It's almost like a pink with a purple-brown kind of undertone. I don't know. It's amazing. Um, Lotus is really pretty if you want kind of that periwinkle purple color. And then Coral Kisses is beautiful. I used this also in a video. I kind of want to use this one more. But those shadows are amazing. Uh, Modern Minerals, I checked them out, and they have a lot of products. So I'm going to kind of read, look at their website to see what else I wanted to try. But those shadows are awesome, so I definitely recommend them. So I went to Sephora and I had a gift card, so I decided to splurge a little bit and buy some products that I've been eyeing for a while. And one is from NARS. I haven't really used any NARS products, maybe like some sample stuff that I got in kits, but um, I kind of wanted to splurge and get this because this duo totally caught my eye. This is new, a new product that they have. This is the Dual Intensity Blush. It's to die for. It's amazing. I want to get all of them, and I'm probably going to get a couple more. Um, they're just a little pricey. That's the only thing. I think they are like $45 for this duo. I'm just trying to get this out of the package. So this is the NARS Duo. Let me open it for you. This is going to be more of a highlighter, but it's just amazing. Oh my god. They're just like the prettiest colors ever for like a liquid highlight on your cheeks. It's going to look amazing. I'll do kind of a close-up for you guys. Look at this duo. You can tell in this clip how metallic it is. I just don't even want to touch it. It's so pretty. 
So as you saw in the clip, they're super amazing, they're gorgeous, and I have not used it yet, but I can't wait to use it. I kind of wanted to show you first with it out being touched, just so you can really see how gorgeous this is, and I really cannot wait to try it. Okay, so another product that I splurged on was the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. I believe this is another um, new item from them, and I saw a lot of people on YouTube use this duo. So the color that I got was um, color number two, and let me show you what it looks like. So this is the compact. It has like a gorgeous like metallic golden highlight, and the bottom is like a really pretty kind of satin finish bronzer. Um, they have another one, number one, which is kind of a little bit lighter bronzer, and the highlight is more of a pink tone. I think that's probably the next one I'm going to get, but I wanted to start with this one. I haven't used it yet. I will soon because I can't wait. And like I said, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like without it being used yet. I totally am excited to use this. I've been eyeing this for a while now. And um, I'll do an up close of this for you. Here's a closer look on that duo from Makeup Forever. And now you can see why I was just totally drawn to this duo. Yeah, so these two I definitely splurged on, but I'm really excited to try them, so I'll definitely be using them in upcoming videos. Okay, so there's a trio of lip products that I have been wearing a lot in videos, and I kind of wanted to share them again. So I kind of rediscovered um, this ColourPop color. I've had it for a while, but I haven't used it until recently. And this is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in BFF. I think the first time I saw it, I thought it was going to be like too light for my lips and kind of like wash me out but I tried this with a couple other products so I used um, strip down lip pencil which is kind of my go-to nude for my lips so I used this just in the outer corners and the edges of my lips and then I filled it in with the BFF um, lippy stick and then I applied this buxom color this is the full-on lip cream and this color is in Bellini so it's definitely more of a peachy nude look and it's what I have on right now if you guys are wondering and I think it's kind of gonna be my go-to lip color a nude lip color for a while um, I just really like the combination and sometimes it's really hard for me to find a good nude lip combo because I feel like a lot of the nudes turn really pink on me and they look too cool, cool for my skin tone so I've been wearing this trio a lot lately and I'm really excited that I finally found a peachy nude um, lip combo so if you guys are looking for a perfect nude try this combo if your skin tones similar to mine or if you're looking for like kind of a peachy nude combo um, I love it okay moving on to some more Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipsticks. I know I showed this in my January favorites, but I got two editions. So this one is um, more of like a deeper red, and this one is called Unicorn Blood. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. I have used it in a lot of Instagram posts, and you guys have, were wondering what I was wearing. This is it. I swear, Jeffree Star's Velour liquid lip Velour liquid lipsticks are to die for like they're probably one of the best liquid lipsticks that I have tried out there love them there's other colors that he has that I haven't been able to get yet but I guarantee you I'll get them they're just amazing the other color that I got is called celebrity skin I think it's a total funny name but this is a nude color it does have kind of that pinky undertone and like I said earlier sometimes pinky undertones don't look that great by themselves on me so I have to add like a lip liner and like something glossy over but it is a really really pretty color I think if you're fair or if you have more of like a pinky undertone I think this would look amazing on you it looks amazing on Jeffree Star and I don't know I just love the consistency of these and I feel like they last so long I never have to worry about them like smearing or smudging throughout the day so I absolutely love these liquid lipsticks I can't like say it enough there are a few nail polishes that I have been wearing so past few months I have been getting my nails done and 
um, you know, wearing gel, but I feel like I had to give my nails a break, so I have been back to painting my nails. Um, this color right now, I've been really into the brights. I kind of go from brights to nudes. I haven't really done dark colors in a really long time, so I'm either wearing a bright color or a nude color. This one is China Glaze. This is Orange Knockout. I used this a lot last summer, so I kind of busted this out, and I'm wearing it again this week. And I absolutely love China Glaze colors. Like, their colors are bomb, especially their neons. Like, they're my go-to summer colors. The only downer that drives me nuts about these um, nail polishes is that, is that they chip so easily, and it drives me insane because their colors are gorgeous, but... They don't last very long. Even if I do like two or three like top coats, they'll still chip. And I'm really, really tough with my nails, especially at work. So they chip really easily. So this is kind of like if you have like a weekend or a fun party to go to and you want your nails to look like bomb.com, then definitely I bust out my China Glaze nail polish. So um, this is the color I'm wearing. Absolutely love it. The only downer is they never last, which sucks. Anyway, moving on to this really pretty coral color that I got. This is um, LVX. I have never heard of them before, but I got this in my BoxyCharm um, monthly subscription. And this color is in Deco, number 28. Absolutely love it. Um, I did post a picture of this on my Instagram, and um, I'll try to put the link below if you want to see a better look at this color, but it's really pretty. It's kind of that perfect coral, soft coral that you can wear. It just kind of makes me feel like really tan when I wear it, so I really like this color. And another one that I got that I've been loving is this Perennial Chic. It's either Perennial, perennial Chic or Perennial Chic. I think it's Chic. But um, this is just kind of like that perfect nude, and I feel like it goes really well with my skin tone because it's kind of like a warmer nude, not like a cooler nude. So, um... I don't know, I think the nudes look really fresh and clean and classy. Can't really go wrong with like a nude nail color and I think it's really in right now too. So this is a new addition. I feel like it's from the most recent Essie Spring Collection. Um, so that's where I picked this up, just at my local drugstore. Really been digging that color lately. So just to share a couple hair products with you, this is my all-time favorite go-to hair product that I absolutely love. A lot of you guys ask me like how I style my hair, what products I use, and this is kind of like my go-to. This is the Style Sexy Hair um, from Sexy Hair, and this is called Play Dirty. So this is a dry wax spray, and this really makes my hair, since I have a lot of layers going on, it makes everything kind of like PC and separated, and I kind of like that messy, effortless, roll out of bed hair. Um, I know a lot of people like some polished, like polished and smooth, but I'm kind of more of like a just messy, loose waves when it comes to my hair. And this really helps kind of separate, bring out my layers, um, add more texture to my hair and just really defines everything so I love this and usually what I do is just kind of lift up my hair and then spray while my hair drops I never put it in my roots because it's just too much it'll be like too greasy or waxy so I really just use it on my ends and throughout my hair I'll just kind of spray it but if you have short hair or layers or you just want your hair to be more texturized and PC this is definitely like a product you should try it's amazing. This is probably like my fifth container that I've gone through. It's like I can't live without this product. Okay, so this is a totally random product, but I had to share it because I've been really loving it. So I was sent this brush. It's from, um, it's called the Aqua Brush, and my old brush totally died. It was crumbled. It lost like a whole bunch of bristles. I feel like I've been brushing my hair with half the bristles in here. So when they sent this, it was like perfect timing. This aqua brush is like amazing. I don't know what it is. It looks like such an ordinary brush. So when I was looking at it, I was like, what's, what's this going to do? What's so special about it? Um, but I swear this brush, like when I tease my hair, I tease a lot, so, and it's bad because I don't brush it out before I get in the shower. So when I get in the shower, my tease just kind of like scrunches up into like this rat nest ball. So I do have to brush it out when I get in the shower, out of the shower. But this stuff, like, 
this brush you can just like brush through it brushes through anything it like literally takes out all my tangles without damaging my hair I don't feel bad when I brush my hair so this aqua brush I don't know it looks like an ordinary brush but it does some awesome things it can untangle literally anything that's in your hair so I was introduced to a really awesome company and that's called sunglass spot I will link it down below um, they sent me so many like awesome sunglasses from their website. Their sunglasses are like five bucks, which is crazy. Like I'm really bad with sunglasses, so I don't like purchase the really expensive ones unless I really want to splurge because I'm just so hard on my sunglasses. I'll just kind of throw them in my purse and like let them be and you know, they'll get scratched or they'll fall or whatever. So um, Sunglass Spot sent me a lot of sunglasses and there's two that I've been wearing a lot lately so I kind of wanted to share them since it's spring and summer and it's sunny out so um, I got to step up my sunglass game so these are these gorgeous like black cat eye sunglasses and this is definitely a shape I would not usually go for but I feel like I was like why not they're super cute so I'm gonna see if I can pull them off so this is what they look like on and I love them. I think they're so cute. They're like the perfect like cat eye shape without being like too much. I don't know. I think they're super cute. I love them. And they have kind of those faded um, lenses and they're totes adorbs. I love them. The other ones that I've been rocking are these right here. These are kind of like um, Wayfair Ray-Ban dupes. And these are kind of just like that classic black so the lens is totally black it's like super dark and um, the frames are just black and this is what they look like so I love these two I think they're just like kind of my go-to sunglasses that go with like any look and they're not super girly which I like um, I think I like them because they're more masculine and I really dig that so these are the other ones that I have so I will link down below those styles that I got from Sunglass Spot and I'm sure I'll show you more sunglasses in the future like on my Instagram but I have so many that I received but those two are the ones that stand out the most to me and I've been wearing them a lot. So moving on I'm going to show you guys last but not least my um, BoxyCharm monthly subscription. So I did a monthly subscription for the previous month and I really didn't get to do it in the month of March but I definitely wanted to share quickly what I got in here. I love monthly subscription boxes um, or bags. I'm part of Ipsy. I get their monthly subscription and I love it and I am happy that I have this one to look forward to every month. So the boxy charm that I got this month was filled with some really awesome things. Um, I'm just going to kind of quickly go over what was in there since I really didn't get to share last month. But this is a full size, I think it's a full size, or maybe it's a small size, but it looks like a full size. This is the um, Oscar, I think it's Blondie, um, hair lifts thickening and strengthening mousse. So it plumps and expands hair. Long lasting fullness, strong flexible hold. I mean, who doesn't like that? So I have not used this yet, but um, you, where do you, when do you put it? So you put it on um, when your hair is damp and I think it just really, you know, thickens up and volumizes your hair. I can't wait to try this one. And I also got um, an Ofra eyeliner. This is in dark brown. I've heard of um, Ofra recently. I haven't heard of them um, in the past, but this brand I feel like is up and coming. And I got a dark brown pencil, which I can't really go wrong with that. And then I was really excited when I got this Tarte Charmed. Um, this is a natural lip tint. So this is kind of like a lip crayon. And I think it's just a really pretty pink. And who doesn't like Tarte? This is kind of a heavy duty full size sample. This is the Previce, um, what is it? It's, uh, I don't even know what this is. So I guess I should have read it before I presented it, but this is kind of like a serum. So it's infused with antioxidant rich daisy flower extract and it helps 
Lighten and Brighten Skin. So this is kind of a serum and on the back it kind of tells you where you can apply this on your skin. Um, I love serums, I love trying new skincare. So this is kind of like a heavy duty like glass bottle that's in this um, monthly subscription. And one of my favorites that was in the box, which I shared earlier, this is the LVX um, Nail Lacquer and this is in Deco. So like I said, I really love this color. It's kind of like a perfect coral spring color and I totally used this already that was in my box. So I love monthly subscriptions. It's just something to look forward to every month and it's a way for you to try brand new products and BoxyCharm has like four out of five products that are full size which is really really cool and that's definitely rare to find with a monthly subscription. I mean you do pay a little bit more than others out there but it's totally worth it especially if you want to try new things. So anyway that wraps up my monthly favorites video slash haul. I hope you liked everything that I shared and you found some products that you want to try yourself. I will list everything that I showed in this video down below along with links so it's easier for you to find the products um, if I could find the links. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I talked so fast in this video but I know this video is going to be super long. I'm sorry. I try to make my videos shorter now. I'm really trying with all the editing. But anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.